Hello, I'm Margaret Murphy. And I'm Helen Pepper. And we are Ashley, Ashley Dyer. Dyer. We've come upon a crime scene and Helen is going to instruct us on how to extract evidence from where there appears to be none. Well, the first thing that I thought about here was the fact that if someone's been into this room, they must have walked around. Well, unless they can fly, and that's a little bit unlikely. So the first thing that I was looking for was footwear impressions. And if we look at the floor, you can see that there's a certain amount of grubbiness about. And if I shine my torch around, you can see that we've got a really nice footwear impression here on the back of the rug. So what you, you call the ones that you can't see latent. So what's this one called? This one's patent. Right, so it's patently obvious you can see it. Yes. Well, you, it is if you know what you're looking for. Yeah. The problem that we've got here is I presume the homeowner doesn't want me to take the rug away forever. I should think they'd be quite upset. So what I need to try and do is recover that footwear impression so that I can take it away okay. with me. Now, what do you think has made the footwear impression? Obviously a shoe, mm -hmm. but what's the footwear impression in? It looks like dust. Dust. So, luckily, I've got a piece of kit that I can use to lift dust. Okay. This is an electrostatic lifting apparatus. This is the famous Esla. This is Esla, yes. A little box but it's quite a lot of power. So what Esla does is we use this plastic film, which is coated with a silver backing, which will conduct electricity. So what I can do is lay this over the footwear impression, smooth it down a little bit. This is the earthing plate. Mm -hmm. that's hopefully going to stop me getting blasted away. See the little feet on the bottom? Yeah. The two feet go onto the earthing plate. One foot, the charge is going to come out of there. So it's really important that while this is switched on and working, that you don't touch the film. Right. Or you're going to have a very 1970s curly perm. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this on and gradually build up the amount of charge that's going through. Can you see the charge is actually pulling the film down? So that's the electrostatic attraction, yeah. is it? Can you also see that there's a big air bubble in the middle yeah. that I really need to smooth down, but I really don't want to touch it. That looks a bit dangerous, yeah. So... Without having a ruler here to do it, what I can do is use what I've got ah. and gently move the air away. Can you hear it fizzing away whilst yeah. it's working? If we turn it up a little bit too high, it may or may not do it. It might start to shout at us. No, it's not doing. It seems quite happy. So I give it a little while to cook and then I turn it off. But what we mustn't do is pick it straight up because, because it's still, still got quite a lot of static charge in there. We've got to allow the charge to dissipate through the earthing plate. And I don't know if you can see the foil starting to relax yeah. away from the, the rug. Now there comes a point where you think to yourself, yeah, that's fine to touch now. Would you like to? <laughs> you know, I always get electric <laughs> shocks when I go into shops, but I'm going to I'm gonna no. give it... If, if you are going to notch it, just with the back of your nail. The reason behind that is, if it does give you an electric shock, your muscles will tense and pull you away from ah, it. Ah, that's rather clever. Rather than so that, that seems to be okay now. Yeah. So, fingers crossed. Pick this up. Oh, yes. And if we lay that down, doesn't look like much, but if I find my torch, I shine the torch across it. Oh, that's very clear, isn't it? Yeah, we've now got and that footwear impression. The, the heel and the, the front of it as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 
there's an awful lot of detail in there I can take that away back to the crime scene office I will be photographing this because this is just dust that's mm. held onto the film by static electricity over time the static electricity will go the dust will fall off yeah if I were to touch it which is something that you never do with a natural real mark it just rubs off yeah. it's not fixed on in any way mm -hmm. but it makes it portable so that I can take it away from the crime scene and examine it back at the office yeah